Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. Today I have for you another newcomer, or should I say new brand, that I like to, like, uh, to share with you here on my channel. And this is the Lovoco Parrot. So it comes in a really nice, uh, what resembles a Maxpedition knife pouch. So extremely high value right here just uh, for the pouch then of course you have your knife nicely petted one position but you can probably fit two knives inside so really, really nicely and well made thank you and just to uh, to keep it right from the table this is a 30 dollar knife so How much will you pay for just a pouch? 10, 15, even more. So extremely high value here. Okay, so the Parrot is a slip joint, a talon or hawkbill style uh, blade right here. And let's talk about the specifications. So this is a smaller knife, of course. We have a 17 centimeters or 6.7 inches overall length. The blade is 7 centimeters or 2.7 inches. The blade thickness is 4 millimeters or 0.15 uh, inch. The blade width is 3.8 centimeters or 1.5 inch. Uh, the blade is made out of D2. Uh, the hand length is 10.7 inches. Oh, sorry, 10.7 centimeters or 4.2 inches the handle thickness is 1.5 centimeters or 0 0.6 inch and the handle width is 4 centimeters or 1.6 inches the handle is made out of two pieces of uh, 3d milled g10 and the weight is 131 gram or 4.6 ounces it has a really, really hard, and stiff uh, spring, so that you're you're all protected. Just keep in mind that you have to apply pressure here to stabilize or lock the the knife. This should be in no way, shape, or form a hard use knife, of course, because it it has no lock and when you apply too much negative pressure so here this way it could close and yeah uh, do some damage okay so keep in mind what i would uh, suggest these knives to be used for probably the best uh, way would be packaging opener let's test out the sharpness so this is really nicely sharp out of the box it has really nice uh, milling pattern here and I can just imagine uh, this knife would be beautiful if this would a, be a frame lock design the G10 plus titanium frame lock so yeah, but the intentions was probably uh, for for the markets where um, locking knives are uh, prohibited, maybe. So the knife features the Bear Claw logo here. I don't know if this is a, a series of knives or just a brand for a reseller because if I'm not mistaken I saw in the past the Bear Claw on some uh, Russian uh, outsourced uh, knives or designs which were made of course in China so maybe this is a, a series that was made for the Russian market but now it's available 
worldwide. Sometimes they will do, uh, the Chinese will do this kind of contracts uh, with, uh, uh, with companies. They are selling knives in different countries and then they will produce the design only for a couple of years for them and then it, it, it is free for all. You have a nail link here, but given this is a really uh, large or wide uh, profile, you have no problems to pinch it. Maybe it was a requirement for the jurisdiction of the country that I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We are speculating here. But overall, it's a really beautifully made knife, so it's really nice and beefy, even uh, in a small form factor, of course. You have a really nice purchase, uh, no hotspots. Also in reverse. Keep in mind, I have an XL large hand. So if you have a smaller hand, it will fit you perfectly. It comes in few variants. So you have um, a, a blue-black uh, G10 with a satin and a stone wash. And then you have a black uh, with satin and um, black wash. Okay, so let's see the profile, how the knife looks in the pocket. Okay, so a little bit resistance there, but nothing major. And this is how it will look. So let's see up close. So this is how much it will stick out, nice acid washed uh, clip, so it will be really uh, nicely concealed. Same stone washing or acid washing is applied also to the blade. With a polished hardware pivot screw. A, yes, this is a fully enclosed back spacer because it's a it is a slip joint. So this is the this is the spring, of course. No millings inside. This is a just a G10 scale version, so no uh, inserts or liners are used. Okay, so let's see some size comparisons. Okay, so we have here the Kershaw Skyline, Spider Cut Delica 4, Small Cryptilian. a Bug Vantage Pro. 940 from Benchmade. K bar Dozier. And uh, Mini Recon 1 from Cold Steel Knives. The 111 from Tucson Knives. Is a, obviously a larger knife. And the bird meadow lark uh, with the hogbill blade. So they are comparisons wise almost the same. Okay, so price wise, like I mentioned, you are looking at uh, $29.99. This is obviously. Uh, can be uh, also a little bit cheaper depending on your preferred uh, knife reseller. You can also check out uh, different sites uh, like uh, 
like Fastech, uh, Gearbest, uh, AliExpress. Uh, I got this one from AliExpress, so I will uh, try to link you down below the seller. I don't know if he's still around, but uh, if I found if I find uh, something at a good price, uh, I will link it, uh, of course, down below. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you are a subscriber, thank you very much uh, for your support. If you are not, please consider subscribing. I try to. Uh, publish at least three videos per week mostly nice and gear oriented um, yes and uh, if you have any questions I'm more than happy to uh, to reply and as always have a nice day bye